Today we're summoning for Kuki Shinobu. Her banner still has a couple minutes, so while I don't usually talk about my personal life too much, I kind of wanted to explain why this has been the longest gap in content since like I started my channel five years ago. <laughs> Work on the house has begun actually for the last couple of weeks, so there's been people here hammering and drilling and it's been incredibly loud. If you happen to see my house tour video, you'll probably know what I'm talking about, the whole outside and the roof and everything, so yeah. There was no chance to actually record during the day at all. I have mostly been trying to just record in the evening and edit while they're here working on the house and it's just been kind of uncomfortable honestly i'm not trying to whine and complain and cry about things just trying to explain where i've been because while it's probably only been like four or five days it feels like it's been several months anyway our plan today is mostly focused on kuki shinobu but i'm not gonna say no to a ito or two he's currently c2 I don't really care about C3 at all. It's like his bull, which I know can do a lot of damage, but, you know, his burst, of course, would be way more interesting. C4 would also be pretty good. 20% death and attack for 10 seconds after his burst ends, so your entire rotation will have some kind of damage boost. I would assume that would apply to Ito himself as well, and he should be able to actually take advantage of that with a 11 second duration and an 18 second cooldown. So yeah, he could have it for a few seconds. And I thought that was wrong because I already do have MC2, which reduces the cooldown by an additional 4.5 seconds, so he could use nearly the entire boost at C4 if you just make sure to quickly do your rotation and go back to him. Oh, it's already up. So yeah, once we pull our first Kuki, we're going to take a look at our constellations because I haven't looked at that at all yet. And uh, we'll see. I don't think I'm going to get her to C6 today unless we get like decent luck because we always have horrible luck with four stars when we're specifically going for those. So yeah, it's probably going to be a nightmare. Uh, and we are at zero pity. There is our Yalan, but all right. I also don't think we're doing weapons today because we already have Redhorn. And Memory of Dust is a pretty good catalyst, but I don't really have an interest in it. I don't use catalysts super often, and I already have like several five stars if I do want to use a catalyst. So without further ado, here's our first tin pull. We can't skip these because we're actually going for Kuki. And I mean, maybe we'll skip a couple or whatever, but I want to see if the four star is Kuki. So we'll skip it once we get the first four star, and then maybe we can get surprised if there's a second four star in there. That'll be the rule for today's summon session. I don't think we've gotten any four stars as of yet. Uh, there's our first Chongyun. We're gonna skip the rest, and it was only Chongyun, unfortunately. But all right, ten more. I guess we should go ahead and do this as well. Have a couple extra primos there. Next ten pull. Um, I'm not even really looking for a five star because again, I'm mostly going for Kuki here. Goro. Um, you know, double four star is highly likely because he was our first. My Goro's already C6, so don't really care. Unfortunately, it was just a rain slasher as our second four star there. No one in here is of interest because they're all C6 except Kuki, of course. I don't have a single one of her currently. And, uh, I mean, you know, I am still kind of looking at the five stars because five stars are always exciting, but like, I kind of feel like I won't get two Itos to get him to C4 and I don't really care about C3. So yeah, a couple early five stars would be nice, of course, or at least, you know, a Kuki Shino Nobu at one point. Um, just another Goro. We're gonna skip the rest, and unfortunately, that was our only four star. Here we go for the next tin pull. Please end my suffering eventually. Uh, and there is our first four star, Favonia Sword. I that was super early though. I think we're gonna get another four. No? Man, what is this? We're already down like five tin pulls without a single cookie. Come on, man, give me the cookie. Oh, finally! As our first pull there, since she was the first pull, I'm gonna go through these. Maybe we get a double cookie. I would be happy about it. Also calling her cookie, I know, is so hilarious, right? I'm, I'm sure no one's made that joke yet. Um, but yeah, let's see if we get uh, another one. Oh my God, we did. Let's go. Uh, double cookie, okay. Starting to turn around, starting to turn around. Uh, so now that we got our first, we're going to check her out a little bit. Gotta obviously scroll all the way back to the beginning. And we can already get her to C1, so let's just do that. Ooh, I like her constellation looking like her whip. Is that normal? For Yeah, I, I never noticed that. Why is Kuki the first character I noticed that the constellation actually has something to do with the character? Now I see it in everyone. Yeah, Noelle with the shield. Okay, well, a lot of these are kind of unrecognizable unless you're looking for it, to be fair. But yeah, Vinti with his bard, I never even noticed his back art, just the little dots. I guess I don't like stare at constellation images. So our C1 gets us an AOE increase of 50%, which sounds like a lot, but I've not even used this character yet, nor have I really even seen anything about her because I wanted to save all my first impressions for the raising. Gonna quickly take a look at the rest of her constellations, see where would maybe be a good stopping point just based on what it says. Three second duration increase, sounds pretty strong. HP scaling, AOE 9.7, it's kinda weird. C4 would be pretty interesting. I think I, I would be happy stopping at that for at least raising. It depends on our luck though. 
Her C6 is pretty interesting as well, I gotta say. It's basically like a uh, death survival once every 60 seconds, which is a pretty short cooldown for a skill like that. Pretty significant buff here of 150 elemental mastery when she drops under 25%, also on a one minute cooldown. So yeah, C4 is the first like actually interesting one. The others seem nice, but they're very basic. Basic doesn't mean weak, it just means there's not gonna be much to talk about there. But for now, let's just keep summoning, see how it goes. If we lose 50-50, honestly, um, and we haven't gotten another Kuki Shinobu, I might call it there. Because her first three constellations seem kind of nice, but like, again, not much to talk about there. So if we don't get at least, a, you know, a couple more and then we get close to C4, then I'm probably just going to give up if we lose 50-50. If we get an Ito, then I'm probably going to try and go for a second Ito. But there's the first four star sacrificial. I did not expect another four star because it was nearly the end anyway. But all right, I have no idea where we are in pity anymore, but there will probably be a pity counter up there as there usually is. Uh, I don't think we're getting very lucky though. I would guess 60 or 70 by now, but maybe it's only 50. And, oh, there we go. Another kooky. I'm gonna skip, although maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe we would have gotten a second. So she's now C2. Going better than usual, I gotta say, and there is our five star. So again, I'm thinking about just stopping, honestly, here. If it's not Ito, if it is Ito, then I might try and go for another one to get a C4 Ito. That would be my highest constellation, like, exclusive banner hero. Not Kaching, Chi Chi, Jean, whatever. So who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Um... Oh, that is definitely Ito. C3 Ito. I know my Shogun is C3, I think my Hu Tao is C3, so that's not super special for me, but C4 would be. C4 would definitely be pretty special. We also got a Goro there. Don't really care. Next, Tin Pole. I think that was like the first 50-50 we actually won in a long time, and it doesn't even feel like we really won it because we're specifically going for Kuki Shinobu, and Ito is kind of like the bonus character <laughs> in this case. There's the first four star, Goro. But yeah, I really don't think I'm gonna try and get Shinobu C6 on this banner at all. I've kind of been doing that for four stars lately. I think Yunjin was an exception. And also with Kuki Shinobu, I don't feel like I really want to go to C6. Next in pull. I mean, we could still get incredibly lucky. She's currently, I think, still C2. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Chong Yun was our four star there. We're gonna go ahead and skip. Nothing else. Next in pull, how about an early five star? No early five star for me. Maybe a Kuki Shinobu then, because that's what we're actually going for here. Let's try and speed through these a little bit faster to get to our first, ah, uh, Chong Yun. I don't know, I feel like skipping is maybe bad luck in this scenario. If I get a Shinobu now, then no more skipping. But if I don't, then I'll just skip the rest. Okay, it doesn't matter. Already down to 12k primos. This kinda, this kinda hurts. Maybe I'll be able to make another Ito video out of it at least, if I can get him to C4. I'm not that hopeful though, because yeah, we still have to go nearly to pity. If we win 50-50 again, that'd be nice. We'll see. Oh, that was the four star Favonius Codex, but we did get a Goro. Next, 10 pull, four star. Let me just see what the first one is here. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Let's go at the end. Another Favonius Codex. I'm on character banner. 10 weapons on the character banner. Very interesting. Already down to nine. Yeah, there's no way in hell we're going to get a C6 Kuki Shinobu. Like, no chance at all. Probably no chance we're even going to get the, the second Ito, which kind of sounds funny. It's like two Itos <laughs> uh, for some reason has less value than a C6 Kuki Shinobu. I don't know. That's just how four stars are for some reason. Another Chong Yun. Very cool. Man, this is not going well at all. I would have liked to get her to C4, but that's not even looking very hopeful at the moment. And still not a five star. Maybe it just feels like we've been summoning a lot. I don't know if my like perception. Oh my god, Chong Yun again. And nothing else. No, I'm pretty sure we have summoned a lot. We're already down to 6,500. We started with nearly 30,000. And we've gotten one five star. That seems wrong, and I don't think I'm accidentally summoning on Weapon Banner at all. I've been a good boy. Uh, there it is, finally. Must be like pity. But maybe my pity counter will prove me wrong. I don't know. Oh, we did get a- we did get a cookie, which would be, I think, C2 or C3 now. I lost count. Maybe it's C3, which would kind of be- suck regardless, because if this isn't Ito, I don't think we can even go to Ito, and I don't really want to wail anymore. Oh, holy hell, okay. Two Kuki Shinobus in a row on the same pole. Can we get a third one? Oh, and there's Ito. C4 Ito. Let's freaking go. All right. I really wasn't expecting that at all. Damn, son. All right. 
That was a good pull. It kind of made up for all the uh, bad luck. Damn. We potentially have everything we wanted now. C4 Ito, C4 Shinobu. Uh, but I think she might be C3 as well. Let's give that a look-see real quick. No, we have three. So she is C4. Perfect. I don't know if whatever the hell this constellation is, is good. We're gonna test it in the raising portion, which I actually have to record directly after this video because there's gonna be workers here again tomorrow and I have to edit that video, but I wanna publish this one today because Kooky just came out and I haven't posted it in like four years. So I wanna post this one today, but then I gotta immediately record the, the it's a little hectic, but I'm trying my best. One thing I usually like to do, uh, is give them a nice weapon, like usually their signature, because, you know, when a new character comes out, I uh, give them this, their signature weapon and we look at them, but uh, in this case, I don't think sh uh, Kuki Shinobu has a signature weapon. We'll try and find one that, that suits her nicely. Ooh, I think Primordial Jade Cutter is kind of nice. It suits her hair. We're just talking about visuals now, okay? I'm not going into stats. Festering Desire, definitely not bad either, I think. Black Sword kind of works, kind of works a little bit. Not sacrificial, really. Lion's Roar, yeah, that kind of has some, some sort of aesthetic, I think. Yeah, kind of has that gold black red aesthetic that she does. I still think Primordial Jade looks nice. Yeah, let's go with Primordial Jade for now. And of course, one other thing I like to do is do a trial run really quickly just to kind of get a feel for how they work before I go like whole hog raising them and everything. I mean, I'm gonna raise her regardless, but yeah. Yeah, reading her character description, she does kind of sound like an electro healer Hu Tao. I, I know that's like three kind of different things. So you can say that for anyone really, but reminds me a lot to Hu Tao because, you know, she is more effective as she has lower HP. I know she is a support, but I kind of just want to use her herself for now. Okay, so yeah, you can see that little ring doing its thing every now and then. So she can kind of be classified as like an off-field damage dealer in a way. You know, I can imagine this would be pretty helpful for reactions, although I guess we do already have a lot of those off-field electro applicators, facial, Beto. Shogun, so it's not really a unique thing, but I guess it is maybe more AoE than some others, though I guess also Electro Charge is also already AoE anyway. And her burst. All right, all right, I can see stuff happening. Yeah, it doesn't last very long. I think that was one thing I was um, mentioning while I was watching this special program. Like, how long does that last? Because I remember having it in my mind that that dur duration was important for this for some reason. Maybe it's not as important as I remember, but again, for the raising mode tomorrow, we're going to, you know, do a bit of a deeper dive into Kuki Shinobu. I do actually want to go back to the trial because I want to I want to kind of know what they're using. With her, Favonia Sword, okay, interesting. I can see how that makes sense. Tenacity, yeah, I guess I can see that being useful as well since, you know, you can attack pretty consistently with her E, even while off field. Duration of 12 seconds, cooldown of 15. Yeah, but she's C0, so I guess when you'd have her C2, that would be a 100% uptime. Again, we'll go more in depth for the raising, but yeah, for now, I suppose that'll pretty much do it. At the end of the day, I got what I wanted, so I gotta be satisfied. I feel like we did have to go near pity for both, uh, five stars, but we won 50-50 both times. We got two double Kuki Shinobu pulls, so that's actually insane for me, because I always have massively horrible luck for four stars. But still, I mean, she's C4 after nearly 30,000 Primogems, so there's also that. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed it is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.